Hey everyone, welcome back to my Let's Play of Destiny of an Emperor. Uh, just a few things to let you know. My money, food, and experience are different and it's going to cost me less to get to level 12 because my game actually got corrupted and I had to start over. But I, And you can also see I have a different party with me this time. I still got Huazong. I picked up a few steeds with me. And when I was getting Guanping through the Golden Key Cave, he was like, You have a horse? I was like, Yes. He's like, Okay, I'm yours. But let's now go through and take a look at this city. That is not Chang'ang. <laughs> this is Yangzhou. Apparently it's on the top of a hill or mountain. Ah, okay. Mm, yeah, let's spend the night. We need it. Okay, and let's see. Yep, Bongzo's there. We're gonna go take care of him. Do you have anything new? Nope. I'm throwing the dungeon. Yes, we have to stop him. What's in here? Nothing. Well, I'm lying. Oh, there's nothing there. I'm thinking of the wrong help. You, out of my way. Uh, nope. Ah. Mm, okay. Yeah, I'm thinking of this house that has nothing in it. But it has a club. And that will go to Zhang Fei. The uh, axes have 20, clubs have 30. It was the same weapon that Lubu was using and he was hitting us by like 70. We're not going to do that because he, because for the most part we're not wearing armor and they will be. Okay, I go rescue the Emperor. Hey, where's Emperor? Over here. Hey, it's Sao Sao. Yeah, you look up after the Emperor, we'll go after the Dong Zhou. Yeah, you have to do a lot of rebuilding. It was more or less raised to the ground. But, let us continue. Now then, oh, didn't check it. Do the other buildings. And you can save it here. I probably need a lot more, but I got to level 11 while I was in the cave. <laughs> so I got all that experience from the gates and everything. No powers to entertain Lubayan. Well, that is apparently not a palace. Well, let's move on. There is one thing I will try to show you here. This area right here. It's a little... Sometimes it doesn't always happen, but... We're in a uh, the next area right here. So technically, you could get into the next area fights right here. I'm going to try and get to one to show it to you. Okay. Yep. See these guys. Jiling. He's the upgraded version of Hua Zhang. Chenji, he's nothing. Li Feng, he's nothing. The reason I want to show this is because if you get out here and you fight like the pirates or bandits or brigands or whatever, you could fight these guys in that cave and it's while this is a good spot to grind, I'm not going to take advantage of it, but they can, uh, it can be kind of rough if you fight into, run into a group of these guys like a lot. Oh wait, not Yi Ho. Check 38. Cost 6. Yeah, I'll show it off. Let's see if uh, Shui Zing works better. Ooh, see? This is why it's not a good idea to fight these guys. Yeah, right. I think doing a lot more damage, but. It's, uh, they can hit pretty hard. 140, okay, not bad. 154, yeah. You'll get closer to like 1. 
dirty and up with that, but I uh, just wanted to show that. We're going to want to use Eho. Because it, it costs less. <laughs> and does similar damage. See? Okay. Now well, then, we'll just finish these guys out. Um, and this... If you didn't do the level grinding and you still didn't, and you barely made it to 8, these guys would wreck you. Because we are in a new enemy domain currently. But as I was saying, if you, uh... Get into like the battle here like this, and go into the cave. Every enemy is gonna be part of this enemy domain. I think it's a bug. I'm not 100 percent on it, but that's what I think it is. Because these guys can hurt. As you see. But uh yeah. They're also worth a really good experience. As it'll show you here in just a moment. 64, not bad. That is very good. I'm going back up here. Now that I'm not sure exactly how the uh, best way to go around it, but I will show you this. Um, I would recommend you going back over here and fighting something. Because I believe it's based on... Uh... Oh, Jazzy. You're really smart. Can't hit more than so we're just going to do physical attacks. But, uh... Yeah, I'm going to spend the night after this, so I'm going to go all out next. But, uh... The reason you want to do this is because if you do not, and you go into the cave even though we went back and saved it, you still have a chance of uh, running into the next enemy domain enemies. You don't want to do that, because they will hurt. Unless you're in the mood for grinding. If you want to do it here, outstanding. Get the level 14, if you really feel like it. But me? Nah, I'll worry about that later. So I'm going to spend the night. Put some, put some. All right. Let's go. And this cave, uh, there's like two ways to... Alright, as I was saying, I prefer going this way because it's shorter and it leads you directly to a chest. Another club. Now then, one thing here, this is what I like to do. I am going to give it to Guan Ping. I know Guan Yu has the much better strength, but Guan Yu is going to be casting spells. Yeah, because Guan Yu is going to be casting does have the option of casting spells, Guan Ping's always going to be attacking. That's why I want to do it like this. And because if you want the... As I was saying, I could have taken the other route, it would have taken us around to the other set of stairs, and we'd have to backtrack more to pick up the club, and I didn't feel like it. But... Ooh. Get a chance to get in Liru. If you can get him... I'd say do it, because he's going to be your best strategist for a while. Let's see... All out. I could focus fire, but I'm not too worried about it. No. That one pain could use a bit of healing. Okay, Leroy, what do you have to say? Vert? Yes. Alright, well... I wanted to get more done in this episode, but oh well. But, uh... What I will do is, uh... I have time to do this battle. As you can see... As you can see... We have a gate before Chang'eng. So, oh, Dongming and Fen Chou. Dongming. Nope. 
don't care for him, and chill. Eh. Eh, just focus him, because he's actually the powerhouse over here. He can actually do some damage. See? That's a crit, but still. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, there's not really a whole lot to this one. This is more or less just cannon fodder at this point. Take him out. And just going all out from here. They're no longer a threat. Okay. Uh, yeah, this is more or less where I'm going to end our episode for today. I will have another one ready, where we will have, uh, say, spent the night. Depending on how much experience I need for the next level, I might just gain it. And then we will attack Dong Zhou. So thank you for joining me today on Destiny of an Emperor. We will take out Dong Zhou and his allies in the next episode. So I will see you on the next one. Thank you for joining me today. Have a nice day.